Yes. Thank you. I guess it's unusual for me sitting down to talk to students, but uh, anyway. Um, yeah, I was a bit skeptic to it as e-learning and um, I teach primarily methodology, uh, I teach training, some in English. And we had the less love, you know, this whole community, and we have gathering based teachers and students are in face to face on campus three times per semester and we have three sessions uh, online yeah. as well. And um, so, where does my skepticism come from? Well, number one, how about relation building? Um, I think uh, relation building is maybe the most important competence for a teacher to have to be able to build relations. And how can I, hand on heart, be able to create, um, uh, be a good role model for my students when they're in front of the screen? It doesn't, for me, it doesn't make sense. So that's, that's a challenge for me. I was very skeptical. I have to pull this off in e learning. Um, and hand in hand with that is all the student sensitivity. You know, I'm not a theorist. I believe in tactile tools. I believe in hands on work in the classroom. My students, they're going to teach from kids from six years old up to the age of 16. They need to come to do, to work, to talk, to do things. Uh, how on earth can I pull this off online? So yeah, I'm skeptical. So I set myself a challenge. And I know we've already read the uh, mathematical equation here in all quality uh, before we start talking. Um, normally, I would challenge my students. This time, I chose to challenge myself. Uh, I'm skeptical. Oh, I was skeptical. Um, the challenge is, how can I Work with all my teaching and still serve relationship building and students and sensitive at the same time. So my study body is a pilot project. Uh, I was fortunate enough to have six students in the second year of teacher training. And uh, we were working with uh, English methodology and in this small project, we were working with uh, the graphic novel called Illegal, which is about the uh, the young uh, boy from Ghana migrating uh, to Italy. Of course, uh, these days with migration uh, issues, uh, certainly a uh, topic of the day. So how did I pull this off? Well, I did this in two parts, a preparatory uh, task and the online teaching session. I started off with making a learning path on our um, uh, digital learning platform that we use, uh, use Canvas. And you don't need to read the text, it's just an image, so don't worry about it. Uh, I create this, this, this learning path that is prepared to a stage. This learning path is posted uh, to the students about 14 uh, days before the online session. The learning path takes roughly four and a half to five and a half hours to, to complete. And I set it up as a very personal learning path. I talk to, I present all the material uh, from you know, the first person perspective. And I also change your degrees. So, you know, I would like to do this. We will do this. We will move on. We will we will discuss this. Uh, and as I say, I'm also including a packing list. So I'm going to try and make this as, as, as close to a real deal as possible. If there's a need to need to pack you know, the copy of pork and, and the flask with the coffee or tea or you know snacks and stuff like that to bring with them um, to, to to create this uh, this um, learning part and the, the information I, I can make it's not what you find in the in, in, in book theory. I include uh, weather forecasts for the South Desert, weather forecasts for crossing the Mediterranean Ocean. Yes, 